Hey, sneaky nerds, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Yeah, today we have for you Lubantu 1310 Beta 2, the final beta, probably. Right, what have I found different from the other stuff? Not a lot, really, although I must say it's a lot smoother experience. The icons have changed, everything's all nice and rounded and hunkily of the dory. Now, being Lubantu CD based, super duper, it is really fast, I must admit. 1304. I was a bit disappointed with it, to be honest. The whole Ubuntu release was just not, was not right, in my opinion. Okay, there was things not working correctly, things I had fixed had actually broken other things. Bloody 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 blah. You'll see other reviewers say exactly the same. Yeah, we had to play around with it to get working correctly. But hey, this one, even as a beta, I don't seem to find any problem with. And I might go over to LXD for my next desktop. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I can't. You know it's like. Anyway, we have a quick look around. As you can see, all nice and rounded icons now, nice and you know, smooth. Not so harsh on the eye, not so Windows 98-ish, shall we say, okay? So we've got our power button, time and date, my Ethernet connection, MGB, okay, Gibber. There's my sound, okay, or well, volume to you. You've got two workspaces available when you first do it, okay? But you can have as many as you like, but two will suffice for most people, okay? Okay, next we have a left click to iconify all windows, if you can do that, a middle click to shade. Internet, okay, you normally would expect Chromium, wouldn't you? Okay, well, let me tell you this. I've just clicked on it. It's Firefox. Now, I thought they were going to go over to Chromium, or they're all doing their own thing now. I don't know. What do I know? Anyway, we're going to type in Ubuntu. Excuse me. Dun, 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 dun. As you can see, there we are. See, there's a new Google page. What have you written on the new Google Plus page and new Google? I don't mind it, it's alright, but a lot of people just don't like change all the time because it's continually changing. People can say no, no, no. Okay, this is the home page where you go and get Lubuntu, okay? Runs really, really nice. What can I say? As a browser, I use Firefox all the time, so I use Chrome, so I use Chromium. Browser works fine. Now, bearing in mind, okay, you go to the Bibica, you will not, in theory, be able to play any flash stuff because I've not enabled the restricted extras okay we'll just continue there so if I go to the iPlayer in theory it won't play okay in theory just as I did that in theory I'll just click there and see what happens there we go there's no flash installed okay so you will have to go and install a restricted extras before you can do any mp3 stuff any video stuff or any stuff stuff of the stuff 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 anyway Apart from that, oh yeah, that's your file system there, I'll open that for you anyway. There we are, we're installed by the way, it's not off the live CD, it's installed, of course, full 1080p video. Oh yeah, somebody said they're doing a 1440 video as well, no, I digress. Under accessories, it's all the usual stuff, nothing much has changed really, no. But as you can see, it is easier on the eye, I sat down myself anyway. So you get archive manager, character map, calculator, leaf pad, for your leaf pad stuff, and the LX terminal. Oh, an pad. And the games, it's all the Penguin games, okay? You can put any games you like on here, as long as you've got the decent hardware, it'll be alright. Anything will run, yeah. And the graphics, well, you ain't really got anything for graphics, really. You've got PDF viewer, MT Paint, and Simple Scan. I've opened MT Paint, you know what it looks like. But as you can see, look, the all the icons and everything, all the fonts, and yeah, they're like that, aren't they? And the internet, okay. Your browser, I installed this, it's browser, it's supposed to be their own browser browser. I've used it on. Triscal, okay, that's what they use, or a browser they use. And I thought I'd try it here. Well, on here, it crashes the system, okay, so I won't be doing that again. But anyway, we know that Fox is your browser of choice. Pigeon for your messaging, Slashy, and transmission. Under Office, all you get is Abbey Word Genomeric, okay, so I'll open up Abbey Word for you, and you're saying, oh, same old Abbey Word, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's not actually, it's 3.00, the latest one. Now, I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, because I want to see how compatible it is with other documents, so I had trouble with Abbey Word, the last version. Especially with schoolwork for the kids, man. Yeah, I'm not saying. Gina Merck's the same, though. Still works. Does what it says on the team. Sand and video. You get Audacious, No Man Player, GUVC View, and XF Burn. Now, XF Burn I rather like. It's almost equal to K3B. Yeah, that's good, okay? And the system tools. The usual. Ubuntu Software Center. You know what it looks like. So if I click on it, and wait for it to come up a minute. Uh, I'm a bit of a tweet. <laughs> Thank you. As you can see, if you want to install something, you click on say audio and video and see what comes up. Adbra, Dadabra, Xdolimus, Client, blah blah blah, Acid Rip, blah 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 blah. You just find what you want to install and off you go, basically. Oh, Ardor. Did you know, see the latest Ardor is out? Yeah, very nice too. And the Rister is here too. 
Make sure you click on it, add it to your apps basket, <coughs> apps basket, and download you go. Okay, nice and easy, does it? Yes. Anyway, system tools, yes, enough. Oh, Synaptic is here as per standard, of course. Task Manager, what are we doing? I'm only using 123 megabyte RAM and no CPU really, though, which I thought was rather good. Yeah, yeah, of course it's good. Anyway, I'm going to go straight to preferences. You can customize your Bluetooth and well, customize your look and feel. So I've opened that for you. You can see what I mean. This is Ubuntu by default, but you could also get clear looks if you wanted to. But that looks a two. You know, see what I mean? It's a bit uh, in your face. You know what I'm saying industrial. Don't know. Okay. Rally. God, I've gone back 20 years. Oh, gone back 25 years and thin ice. That's quite nice actually. Anyway. Also, go to desktop preferences. If you right click a desktop, we can change our wallpapers. And there are some nice wallpapers in here too, like that one there, and that one there, and that one there. So, you know what? I'm going to go with that one. Let's see what happens. Oh, now that's nice, isn't it? No, that's nice on my desktop. Thank you very much. Anyway, enough of that uh, preferences and all that rubbish, blah, blah, blah. Keyboard stuff, the monitor stuff, and network stuff. It's all here. It's all Ubuntu. It's all LXDE. So you know how it works, baby. Yeah. Well, as it's still in beta, I can't really rate it, but it does seem to be a lot better than the last one. Okay, Enormous amounts of improvement. And maybe we won't have to moan so much at the, at the Ubuntu teams, will we? Who knows? We might just do just because we feel like it. Anyway, I like it. Can't wait for the release in a few days. Sneaky Linux. Get out. See you later. Bye-bye.